Wednesday has arrived. I've got my good luck toque. Britt bought me one. So warm. It's my good luck toque. So we're here at Timmy's. Ha, <laughs> that guy's window froze open. <laughs> froze closed. <laughs> I did that last time. Oh wait, didn't I? Oh, ha. Thought I might have laughed too soon. I like to wash my vehicle regularly in the wintertime too. And now that I don't have a garage to park them in, <laughs> they like to freeze. That's part of living up here though. That's okay. So we've got the good luck toque. We've got everything else we need. We got our muzzle. We've got the work jacket back there. I've got my work boots on. I've got my lined jeans. What do you call these? these Wrangler lined jeans that they're nice and warm. It's cold today. It's minus 18 right now. Can I get a large coffee with one cream, please? Sure. That'd be it. Super duper. <laughs> One of these times. I thought for sure that time. Because she knew I wanted my espresso shot. So it's almost like she knew me. And I didn't order it this time. And they <laughs> they asked me if I wanted, don't you want your espresso shot? There goes like a quarter million dollars. Look at that truck. I can't even catch up to it. I don't want to romp on it right now. Kind of like my fuel economy where it's at, but that's a GMC 2500 Sierra Denali. That thing's probably worth about as much as my house. And it's gorgeous. Be a beautiful. Love those trucks. And if I went with the 2500, I'd probably go with the GMC. If I had a million dollars, I'd probably go with the GMC Denali. Very nice trucks, but no, for now, I'm happy with this truck. No payments. That's the best part. 88,000 kilometers on this truck and no payments. Same thing with the terrain. Like we got 83,000 kilometers on the terrain. No payments. That's about 50,000 miles. Christmas Eve Eve. Tomorrow's the big day before the really big day. You guys got all your Christmas shopping done? Did all of your packages come in? That's been the big thing this year, eh? Is everyone ordering online, shopping online? And the delivery world has just been overwhelmed. Giving people like me a lot to do though. Truckers are very busy. So I hope all your packages arrived on time and I hope that you guys are all gonna have a fantastic Christmas. As, as fantastic as it possibly can be in 2020, right? That's all we can hope for. We can't have any in-person gatherings this year, which is really, it sucks, it, it does. Because it's our favorite favorite time of year and it's a time of year for family to be together not apart so it's a difficult one and you know with grandpa passing away last week it's eh, it's going to be you know we're gonna make it as jolly as possible okay because it's, it's all the way you look at it and it is what you make it so it'll be good so I'm going back into town right now. I gotta pick up a few stocking stuffers for the wife. Cause 
like I said, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I was gonna say tomorrow is the day we unwrap gifts, but no, that's the next day, Christmas Day. I don't know what traditions Britt and I are really, we're trying to create like some, some holiday traditions for ourselves to do every year. As usually, how it's been my whole life, my, my mom and dad have their gathering on the 24th, and then Christmas Day is sort of for the family immediate family, right? But this year is obviously very different, and I know that Britt would like to make New Year's, or Christmas Eve, our personal Christmas as well. So I don't know. How do you guys do it? How do you do your family gatherings? As you get married, and as, I guess, as you get older, and you got kids, and your kids get older, and they get married, and then they, th there's more and more families to include, right, in, in Christmas. How do you guys do your Christmas? And who gets Christmas Day? That's always a big debate, right? Where do you go Christmas Day? Well, Chevy, were you a good boy this morning while I was gone? <laughs> Did it scare you? <laughs> Did it scare you? Every time I'm in here working on the computer, he's always right here, just laying down, like I was saying yesterday. Just hanging out, just likes to hang out and be involved. So now you know every vlog has Chevy's stamp of approval on it. It's hard to get his approval. It really is. So we're stocked up on dog food for the month. <laughs> the big guys go through just over two of these in a month, believe it or not. You hungry hippo, are you? What's going on in here? What's going on in here? Is he telling you stories? Don't believe him. Don't believe him. He said he's a shapeshifter, man. Frank, you gotta be honest. You gotta be honest, Frank. Okay? I'll tell you nothing. You gotta tell the people. Hi. Are you an alien? Be honest, Frank. People wanna know. They've been asking. What about for a belly rub? No? Can I tell them? Can I tell them? Can I tell them? Well, the weather people were wrong again. We were supposed to have two feet of snow on top of this snow. Clear skies. Somewhat clear anyways, you can see the blue sky out there. A little bit hazy up here, but we were promised snow. I swear they just guess, they just sort of roll a dice in the morning and if it lands on snow, they forecast snow. Do they really know what they're talking about? I'm disappointed. It is so cold. Minus 22. And we need grocery. Yep, get the must. It's a necessity. It's frozen. We just got gas. Also a necessity. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So wanna make sure that we have everything we need over the holidays because the gas stations probably aren't open. Wally World. Haven't been here in a while. Alright. We don't go out as much anymore. I've only been here twice since this whole COVID thing started. Well, started here in Canada. Oh, it's almost like they restrict our movement or something. Like we don't come to Walmart. Like there's something wrong when we're not at Walmart regularly. We don't go on our regular dates anymore. Oh, honey, no. No, you want to park closer? Yeah, I'll like, take the risk. Like this one, right here. Jeez, <laughs> one spot closer. <laughs> okay, I got two feet in a heartbeat, and I'm young. I, I can do it. I can drive around and see if there's something closer. No, no, this will be our daily exercise. Okay. Walking around our 860 square foot house in this. Yeah. Okay. We don't necessarily have to wear the mask outside, but it's just more convenient. It keeps your face warm. So there's that. And it's just more convenient to do it in the vehicle where it's warm instead of scrambling for it out in the cold outside the doors there. Exactly. Just so you know, we are aware that we don't have to wear it outside. We're not those people. <laughs> okay. See if we make it. I gotta put my gloves on. She did not wait around for me at all. <laughs> She's gone. She's gone. It's too cold. Oh. Hello, buddy. Sure, I'll just stop. There you go. Whew. Not like it's freezing cold or anything. I can wait. Right. These carts have been disinfected. 
I'm gonna trust the sign. Are you gonna trust the sign? Yeah, I usually do. Their hand sanitizer here stinks. Stinky Walmart hand sanitizer. It's pretty terrible. Stinks. Where do people get this stuff? Like Steinbeck. I don't notice it anywhere else. I notice it in Steinbeck. Everybody has stinky hand sanitizer. I don't know what to tell you. Gotta follow the arrows. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. You get pulled over, get a ticket. <laughs> the COVID cops. Shh. Look at this. Whole bunch of milk just sitting here on a pallet. It doesn't go bad out here? I don't know. Apparently you don't need to refrigerate milk. It's called Everfresh. I don't know. Maybe it's synthetic milk? Fake milk. It's fake news. It's fake milk. I'm still cold. So here in Canada, it gets so cold that we have to plug in our cars for night. No, they're not electric, but they have a, uh, a block heater. It keeps the engine warm so that you can start it easier in the morning. And you need special outdoor cords for that. See, this is just regular extension cords. I want the cords that are designed for this so that we can uh, make sure our cars will start, right? I need a nice thick one. Apparently lasagna dishes are legal, but blankets are not even though we live in Manitoba. Essential lasagna. Essential. But if you're cold, you're SOL. <laughs> this is what I got. Look, it ravels up. Ravels, revels, Ru whatever. So it's easy to clean up in spring. Right on. It's got four plugs on it. And then two of these cords, one to go to each vehicle. And this one, just in case if we need a little bit of extra for this Swing. thing. I think there's only five bucks for the next one, but the rest of it's a little mm, pricey. But essential we need our vehicles to start in the morning when it gets down to minus 30 it's only minus 22 today it's half getting down half your viewers excuse me half of your viewers probably have no idea what minus 30 means <laughs> minus 30 it's the exact well minus 40 is where fahrenheit and celsius meet so minus 30 is probably in the minus 20s it's still it's cold it doesn't matter it's all cold Essential Christmas mugs. Essential. 50% off, they're so essential. I'm surprised they have any sales going on right now because everything is, uh, you know, they might need more money. Look at this. Look at this. This is what they got hung up here. We're not allowed to buy this stuff. Look at this stuff. Not essential. Oven mitts? Nope. You got to burn your hands. Aprons? Nope. You got to get yourself all dirty. Towels? Nope. <laughs> That's a big nope. I would love to know who the idiot is that's making these things up as they go. Oh, it's King Pollister. Didn't you know? King Pollister. Yeah, what a waste of a vote. Waste of a vote. He's not getting my vote again. I, that much. I would have voted for the other guy. This is what we wanted. But I guess at least Santa's essential. Santa. Yes. Can't believe this. Look at this. They have all of this blocked off. Well, that Christmas stuff and those mugs, not essential, not allowed. No, just these. These are okay. These are okay. Not those ones. Definitely not. Not, definitely not those ones. Like, look at these ones. You wouldn't want these anyway. Just because they're not Christmas. Not essential. Not allowed to buy them. These are cheap as borscht. I'm getting them. Cheap as borscht. They say $2.97 and they might be half off. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Nice. I can't really tell where the sign goes. What a world we're in. If you're wondering, good breath is still allowed. Still allowed to buy mouthwash. Tooth face, that's still allowed. Still allowed to have nice teeth. No one wants a bad smile. Brush your teeth. Very important. All of this stuff. Definitely essential. Not Women's for me. Women's bodies are still allowed to function. That, that's good. That's good. They remembered the ladies. Yeah. Watch me. Watch me. Oh no. I'm so bad. What's this? Is soap allowed? Very nice. We're still allowed to smell nice. That's good. 
Oh, how gracious our rulers are. How gracious. All right, so now we came to Canada Walmart. Hey, let me grab that. You got a sore wrist. You gotta put a loony in here for the carts. Here, I got it, I got it. I got, it. I got better prices on groceries here. What's wrong with this cart? Oh, looks like the wheels are frozen. Oh, that should be fun. Superstore. Oh, all the good stuff. <laughs> What's okay. that? Veggie spring rolls for a lazy night when we just want to do like Asian hors d'oeuvres. Fancy. I'm a fancy kind of lady. We're very fancy. So these scent beads you're not allowed to buy. You can't buy that right there, but you can buy this right here. <laughs> you can't buy this right there, but you can buy this one. Or that one right there. You could definitely not buy that one, but you can buy that if you want. <laughs> These are dangerous. Not allowed. They spread COVID. Yes, they are super spreaders. So even though you're in the aisle and it's on the same shelf, not allowed. <laughs> Makes sense. And just down the line here. Okay. Can't buy that, but you can buy that or that or that or that. Not that though. Either. Oh, you can't buy that one either? No. Definitely not that. That would be way too dangerous. They're not allowed to sell. <laughs> Absolutely. Can't buy this one e either, even though it's just an empty box. Can't buy the box. Can't buy the box. No. Nope. Or that. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? They're not allowed to sell non-essential items. Uh, by decree of the uh, premier. Premier. Yeah, we're not blaming the people that work here. Yeah, no, it's not their fault. It's the government and they're just doing what they're set. Yeah, doing what they're told. And believe me, we all realize it makes no sense. Well, we got this one plugged in. Get the whole system set up here. Over there. Yeah, I got this one plugged in. That keeps the engine warm overnight. So you can start it in the morning. Look at this. Look at this Christmasness. Somebody's been very busy decorating this house. That someone is me. It's definitely not me. Sure, it's me. Look what else she's been busy doing. Everybody lean in close, get a good smell. I'm not talking to you. I don't care what you're the commander of. No, I don't care what you're the commander of. He's just following direction. Trust me, guys, it smells delicious. Got everybody in here. So we're about to watch a movie. Uh, All I Want for Christmas. From the 80s, apparently? 80s or 90s, I don't know. I've never seen it. I just want to see it. And it's Christmas, so I'm going to need to go over to the fridge and get a Christmas beverage. Excuse me, coming Look through. Your fork. Oh, good. I thought you were gonna flip it off your plate. That would have been fun. That oh, was... would have just rocketed it everywhere. Yeah, that was bad placement on my part. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, we went to Walmart and Superstore. You saw that Walmart was a little bit more communist in their. Uh, I mean, a little bit more uh, controlling in their in their <laughs> aisles. I didn't say that out loud, did I? You may have. Walmart is, uh, you know, you gotta follow the arrows and they have everything all blocked off that you're not supposed to buy. Superstore has some things blocked off too, but not as much, it seems. You still can't buy clothes there right now. But remember, Superstore is more groceries. Walmart is more household and clothing and stuff. Superstore has more groceries than Walmart does. That's Here, true. anyway. But they didn't have any arrows on the floor. No. Which made me ridiculous. feel better. I was able to freely roam the store. Yeah. Those those arrows give me such bad anxiety. Like, I just... I hate it. And then people, like, <laughs> glare at you if you go the wrong way. Like, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't follow the tape on the floor. Like the guy today. I was in the aisle with the mouthwash or whatever. I wasn't filming then. And, uh... I went into an aisle, and I turned around, there was a guy there. And I just said, excuse me, and just walked out the aisle. And it was against the arrow. And he's just like, 
How dare you? You just spread COVID by walking the wrong way. Yeah, you know, and I just had to look back and say, excuse me, my wife, my, my wife likes bad boys, so. <laughs> All right, Frank, let's eat this and let's watch some, watch some TV.